Ryan Gosling and Will Ferrell couldn't be more proud of Knife Guys right now than they are right now. Just kidding. Anyways, with that being said, Cooter Malloy here coming at you with another exciting video. I'm sure this is the screenshot that all of you wanted to get. This is the SOG Seal FX, the Tonto that on the left. The one in the middle is the SE Laser Strike. The one in the end is the First Edge 5050. This is what they look like from the top and their thicknesses. I believe both of these are 3 16 give or take. They're about the same. And then the one on the end is a quarter of an inch. So just for comparison, honker knives. Oh my God. Okay, so let me show you this from the side now. There's your SOG Seal FX, the Tonto. This is the SE Laser Strike. And this one obviously is the First Edge 5050 in LMAX. What I'm going to do is March 2nd through the 5th, I'm going to go up to the San Gabriel Mountains. And this is an open invitation, by the way. If any of you watching this or subscribe to my channel, hopefully you're all subscribed to my channel. But if any of you are watching this and you're going to be up in the San Gabriel Mountains area, March 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and or 5th, San Gabriel Mountains, Southern California, Azusa kind of area, let me know. Comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if you're going to be up there. Let's link up. Let's make this a combined effort. If you're a fellow YouTuber and you want to test out some knives, or hey, maybe you're just interested in testing out a knife. You want to know how does it chop? How does it baton? How does it feather stick? I'm bringing these three. I'm also bringing up a Silky Gomboy. Let's test them out. This isn't a destruction test. I don't, I don't want to destroy anybody's knife. God bless those YouTubers like Joe X. I think there was a major cool a while back that was doing it. Obviously, the Dutch butchcraft knife guys there's a few others that just destroy and they pummel these knives and god bless them. god bless them for doing that because i think they're just contributing to the process but no 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 what i want to do on march 2nd 3rd 4th and 5th is i just want to see the proficiency of these three and maybe test out some of the ones that you have just to see which ones will process wood the best so i'm talking about batoning i'm talking about chopping i'm talking about feather sticking i'm talking about splitting wood does it matter if it has more of a of a high flat ground grind kind of like the SE laser strike does? Does it matter if it's got a saber grind, it's a little bit thicker in this part? Is it going to split the wood easier? My theory is yes. So I want to know slicing or wedging, right? Pun intended. Which one is going to be better between these two? Also, is it the type of material the steel that's going to make a difference? This is CPM s35 vn this is a 1095 carbon i believe that's been powder coated does the powder coating help what does that do and then obviously the l max l max is supposed to be good at corrosion resistance edge retention all the good stuff you know does the type of steel matter we're gonna find out right that's why we're, that's why i'm going up there march 2nd through the 5th also what i want to know is how do the different points compare when you're batoning like is the drop point going to be easier on the piece of wood that you're using to baton the knife to get through the other piece of wood? Or is the spear point better? I know the clip point, right? The Tonto style clip point, that's probably gonna chew up the piece of wood that I'm using to baton, but let's test it. Let's see how bad that is. Is this hole gonna make a difference? You know, is that gonna give some kind of easement, some air pressure <laughs> reliefs to the piece of wood that you're batoning or chopping or feather sticking or whatever. That's why I want to test all these knives out. I'm also bringing up the Silky Gomboy. This is the 240 version just to help give us a nice even playing field in terms of lengths of pieces of wood, starting out with a flat top on the piece of wood that we're going to baton and chop and feather stick and all that good stuff. So like I said, if you plan on being up in the San Gabriel mountains or you want to come up let me know in the comment section down there below that you're planning on going up. Let's link up. If you're a fellow YouTuber or you just want to test out some stuff, you know what I'd really love to test that I don't have and I'm, I'm waiting on or maybe you might purchase soon is the Survive Knives GSO 5.1. If you've got the Magna Cut, even better. But the CPM 3V, let's, let's test it. If you got it, bring it. Also want to test out the SE5, the SE6, and also the SE4 which one of those might compare to this laser strike you know is the five better because it's thicker like the first edge 50 50 or is the six better because you've got a little more length to make it easier to baton because now you've got more of 
of a piece hanging out from the piece of wood that you can baton easier. You know, that's why I want to test all this stuff. So definitely let me know in the comments section down there below if you're planning on coming up to the San Gabriel Mountains March 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and or 5th. That's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 2023. Let me know. With that being said, just talking really quick about the process of getting to this point, I'm sure a lot of you out there watching this video have probably gone through the same process I did. What's the military using? Navy SEALs, Delta Forces, Army Rangers, you know, is it corrosion resistance that you're after? Is it just pure sheer strength? Is it edge retention? Is it ease of sharpening? Is it the type of metal? I'm sure you've all gone through that process. And by the way, quick shout out to anyone watching this video that has served in the armed forces or that is currently serving in the armed forces. I can, I'm going to get emotional here, but I cannot stress this enough. I truly appreciate your service to this country and thank you for your service because it's, it's people like you that have dedicated X amount of years of your life, if not decades of your life to serving this country, helping to protect our freedoms. That's the reason why we are able to do the stuff that we do. That's the reason why I can have a YouTube channel and talk about the stuff is because of people like you serving our country, protecting our freedoms and allowing us to do that. So special thumbs up. Thank you to you for, for doing that. So with that being said, I was trying to find out what the Navy SEALs were using. Right. And I came across the SOG seal effects. They used to make a seal pup. I think was the knife. I don't know if they still make that anymore. I think I think that's been discontinued. So that led me to the first edge, right? The 50-50. This is a hard knife to find, by the way. Very limited supply on this one. I don't think they make it anymore. There is a 5150. I think that is that was also made. I don't know if they're still making it. It was basically more of a clip point on the end. It might have been a little bit longer. If you've got one of those and you want to bring it up, March 2nd, 3rd, 4th, or 5th, hey. Bring it up. I'm sure uh, we'd love to have a community property, right? Let's share and test and have some fun with these knives. Then I went through the whole SE thing, right? Unbelievable warranty. By the way, lifetime warranty on the SOG, lifetime warranty on the SE. I think there was a lifetime warranty on the First Edge. If that company's still around, does anybody know? Comment, comment section down there below. Let me know. But when it came to the SEs, I kind of went through the gamut of like, of videos, you know, Joe X, God bless, God bless him for destroying literally knives until they break or not. And then there's Dutch Bushcraft knife, you know, those two guys. Is it Mickey and Martin? God bless them too for doing what they do on their tests. But I wanted to know was the five better because it was thicker because it had, you know, the 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 higher grind, all that kind of you know, all that kind of stuff. And then is the four better because it's smaller, it's more compact? Is the six better because it's longer and you get more surface area to baton with, you know, or through or whatever? So if you've got any of those, if you've got a what are those? The K bar BK2, bring it. I want to see what that thing does in comparison to these three. Let's have a knife date. Let's all go out there, have some fun. Let's backpack, share a meal, share some coffee, bring some beverages, whatever you want to do. It's a it's a pretty easy hike into where I'm going to be camping for those nights. There is a source of water that does need to be filtered. There is a vault toilet. So if some of you have the FTS thing going on for toilet syndrome, there is a vault toilet. Or you could go, you know, find a tree somewhere. <laughs> have fun whatever you decide to do is up to you but you do need to filter your water so make sure to bring a water filter i will have one you're more than happy more than happy to share mine use mine whatever but definitely bring a water filter if you've got one it's hammock friendly it's tent friendly it's gonna be a blast and obviously campfires are allowed that's why we're doing the testing of these knives because i know that we can get a campfire going in designated fire rings all that good stuff you could bring your isobutane you know, burners up there if you want to. You can bring your pots or pans, whatever you need. You can even bicycle in if you want to. It's that easy of a trail to get to. But anyways, comment in the comment section down there below. It's a six mile hike in from the parking lot. I think LA County Fire is flying over right now. I'd, sh I'd show you that, but they're behind the trees right now. That little helicopter in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. 
But anyways, comment down below. Check out some links in the description to some pretty cool products. I'll put a link to these two knives anyway. Couldn't find a link to this one. That'll be down in the description section down there below. Also, there's some links to some other cool backpacking stuff down there. If you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced backpacker, let me know in the comments. Let me know that you're going to be up there March 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and or the 5th. And I will catch you all on the next exciting video. Silky Gomboy, that's down in the description there, down there as well. And we'll have some fun in about a couple weeks.